And welcome to the Javon Show. I am your host today, playing the role of Javon. We're going to Javon for today. We're going to be Javon for today. It is so great to see all of you all. You all came in. We are live right now on Instagram. We're live on YouTube. We're live on uh, where do we live? What else are we live on? We're live on um, Antenna TV. We're, we're live on all these places. We're live on Inst- not Instagram, on uh, 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 Twitter. We're live. We're, we're here live. No edits. We're live. And we've got people here ready for Ms. Amber. We've got people like Dawn. Uh, go ahead, Amber. She ain't even done nothing yet. People coming in from uh, from Cincinnati, Ohio, Miss Lisa Pope. Uh, we've got Dawn, which we already said about. Ooh, we got Michael Sanders. We got him in here. All because they want to see, they want to see her. So we're gonna bring her on right now, ladies and gentlemen. Amber B. What's going on, Amber? Hello, everyone. Hello, Amber. <laughs> Amber, it is an honor and a pleasure to have you on the show today. Oh, it's truly my pleasure. Truly. Where, where are you calling in from today? I'm at home in St. Louis, Missouri. Oh, I, I'm okay. And boy. that's the end of today's interview. <laughs> um, so we thank Amber for coming on. And as a Cubs fan, we're not going to let this run. Oh. No, no, <laughs> we, we don't do that. Not on this show. Go take off the shirt. I don't know nothing about no Cubs. <laughs> oh, you saw us in two thousand and. Mm-mm. It's all about it's all about my Cardinals. Okay, we'll let that. You know what? My ex-wife is a Cardinals fan, and that's why she's my ex-wife. Moving on. Oh. Um. So <laughs> we've got we've got Miss Amber here now. For those we do this for everybody. We did it for CC Wine as even so. For those who don't know, who is Amber B? Amber B is, first of all, I am a mother, Mm. 13-year-old beautiful little girl. Um, I am also the winner of Sunday Best season four, um, and now I'm doing (laughs) R&B. And you are killing the R&B as well, doing with the the Brian McKnight uh, viral video, the the (laughs) Jasmine Sullivan concerts. I know about all of it, but... I want to get to the beginning because people need to know how Amber Bullock started. Amber B got started. Now, I know um, and our condolences on the passing of your beautiful mother um, picture right here with you. I know that she was very influential in getting you started into music. Can you tell me just a little bit about your mother and her influence in your uh, singing career? Oh, yeah. I'm going to try to talk about her without crying because normally if I ever talk about her, I just boogle cry because it's so fresh for me. I can't believe that my mom is gone, seriously. Um, But my mom was uh, my biggest fan. Um, She really, 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 really loved me and she really had no problems, no qualms letting anybody know (laughs) that she was my mother. And um, I get all of my singing gifts from her. Is all I and um, she played the piano. She sang. Um, my dad cannot sing, <laughs> but um, he knows music. He loves music, and um, his side of the family is into music. But I really attribute it all to my mom, who was actually adopted. So I don't even really know where it all came from. Real, <laughs> but it's my mom for sure. I miss her a lot. What song did you love to hear your mom sing? Um, my mama was a, a Yolanda Adams fan, for sure. And so she would rock uh, back in her younger years, uh, of The Battle Is Not Yours. I used to love hearing her sing that, um, for sure. And I got to introduce her to uh, Yolanda Adams. Actually, I took her to the Stellar Award with me one year. Right. You know, I got to tell Miss Yolanda, this is my mom. you are my mom's favorite singer. Please take a picture with her and all of this stuff. So it was real cool. That's very cool. What does she love to hear you sing? Uh, I won't complain, actually. Uh-huh. <laughs> I don't. And did you, <laughs> did you always do the down home version? The good. I don't. Oh, yeah. I, I only know that. But I mean, I guess that is the only version that you can sing. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <how> I go. <laughs> you know, but yeah, that version. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now, now I, I love 
the story about how you ended up on Sunday's Best, being in Dallas and having to go to St. Louis and the the back and or being in St. Louis going to Dallas, whatever the back and forth was. Did, was there ever a moment where you said, and I'm sure you've been asked this question a thousand times, but we can get the true answer today. Was there ever a time when you said, forget this, too much work, I'm not doing it? Um, no, before Sunday Best, I was kind of winging it. <laughs> and so uh, winging it didn't feel unnatural to me. So I just wung it. Is that a word? Wung yeah, you wung it. it. Yeah. <laughs> you just winging, you wung it. I can understand that. Yes. So, mm -hmm. I mean, and but now my winging it days are over. And so now mm -hmm. I'm looking like, all right, what you doing? You know, but back then it, it, I, it didn't bother me much at all. So everything now, every move is strategic and planned. And it's and got perfect. to be more so now because I have a 13 year old. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, even it, I definitely had her then, but I had because she was younger. It was I had a bigger village that was definitely ready to take her. <laughs> you know what I'm I saying? Um, completely. But now that she older, they're like, oh no. <laughs> is it is it gonna be detrimental to your career having kids 14 years apart? You know what? Don't answer that question. We're moving on. Who so, has a kid? Huh? <laughs> Just thought we would break some news. I don't know. No, 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 no breaking news. No. I don't mm -hmm. think I can have no more kids, honestly. I, I think the Lord said, that's it for you, sis. You got uh, the one. You did your best with that. That's all I'm going to give you. Mm -hmm. Does she Does she sing or dance or yeah, anything? Yes, she does sing. She will not sing for me. Uh, I have to pay her, low key. <laughs> she will not sing for me, but she is one of the smartest people I know. She knows how to work that garage band and all of the stuff, make her own beats and record herself singing. I don't even know how to do that. She's really good. Um, she's in the choir and stuff, though, at school. I got her to perform in our school, so I'm hoping that it'll cultivate her more, but she do not want to sing for me at all. And I'm trying to tell her, girl, I got all these followers. I can't help you. Get your stuff up, you know? <laughs> and you have that that program on Instagram. Are you still doing that, where you bring in the singers? Oh, and... the, uh, Amber Polo. No, I'm not, because it costs money to put that on, because we was giving away money, too. <laughs> mm. It wasn't a lot of money coming in from that. Yeah. Uh, more money put out, <laughs> so yeah. had to, you know, gotta gotta have a brainstorming meeting about how we can get that. But we have been thinking about it though, because but, but, always ask me about it, always. Be, because I never got to go on there, you <laughs> see, because I was preparing my vessel, huh? You was preparing for, for showcasing, and I never got a chance. So you know, we'll we'll figure something out. We'll we'll find we'll, a way. We'll figure it out. I'm trying to get the social media thing. That going anyway, so yeah, we'll figure it out. Yeah. So, the, are you are you released yet? Is is Michael still holding you captive? Are we able to oh, talk about it? It's not Michael. Michael is my manager. Okay. It's Matthew. No, Matthew. I'm sorry, Matthew. Beyonce. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Um, it's not that he's holding me captive. I would say I believe that he made an investment, um, at the beginning of my career. Um, and he won his money back, or at least some of it. And so that's natural. That's what makes everybody's out of their deal with me. Everybody else paid to get out of their deal with me. I'm the only person who has not paid to get out of their deal. And I don't know if it's my situation of maybe they had the money or maybe they knew somebody who had the money. Maybe they got a record deal. That is just not my story. That's mm -hmm. not my story. <laughs> that's, that's not my story. <laughs> So, so um, I know that you have the campaign. Are you still doing the campaign? Doing the uh, reject campaign? No. Okay. Not yet. No, I'm not doing that anymore. But I am trying to have an EP come out by the end of the year. Hopefully by the fall is what I'm hoping for. That's what we're... Uh, what, what, if you don't mind giving it, what's your cash app? My cash app is, uh, what is it? Amber B. Sings. Amber B sings. Yes. Okay, so I just put it into the um, chat, and I need everybody under the sound of my voice, huh? I need to form <laughs> four lines. I need a I need a thousand dollar line. Mm. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I need a hundred dollar line. Yes, I need the the five dollar line, and then I need the line with the the change givers to go to the back 
and around, go to your car, get some dollars, and then come back into one of the other lines. And we need to get Amber some money so that she can get, you know? I I, seriously, thank you. Y'all have no idea. I'm just, I'm still trying to figure figure everything out, you know? Mm-hmm. I get, you know, it's, it's crazy because when, pe- when you go on television or whatever the case may be, people think that you have it together or that you just know about life. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I just, that's just never been my story. I'm still literally trying to figure it out before y'all. So, yeah. But I'm still smiling. <laughs> you are with the most beautiful smile of them all. And we want to pay for that smile. If you want to see oh Amber smile some more, go to the Cash App. Amber B sings. We're going to push this because I need. Whatever. It could be a dollar, two dollars, anything. I Don't y'all send her one and two dollars just because you think you can get her phone number by doing the cash app and then you can save it and then try to retrieve it. Don't do that. We're not going to do that today. Um, Chris, if you you say you love Amber, Chris, give a hundred dollars. I love you. hundred dollar line. I can see these comments too. Y'all know I, my vision is impaired. I'll be squinting. <laughs> She'll be blessed with it too. I have faith in her. We all have faith in her, but let's put some change into the faith. So, Lisa Pope, send a hundred dollars. Joseph Bishop, blessings, sir. Yes, blessings to you too. Send a blessing of a thousand dollars. So we're gonna get Amber this money. We're gonna get her this money. Uh, GG Burrell, be blessed. Yes, you know what? I'm not supposed to tell this, but Gigi got a lot of money. So Gigi gonna just buy you a contract. <laughs> Gigi, don't let him put you on the spot like that. She's already been. She's already put put on the spot. So. Speaking of Gigi Burrell, who's getting married, tell me about that wonderful video of you at the wedding slaying the church. Oh, wow. Uh, Crazy story, actually. Um, I went to Oakwood College, which is now Oakwood University. And um, all of the people in the college, because it's a Seventh-day Adventist college, all of us are kind of close. Um, especially if we were in the choir and uh, this girl named Talitha, she got married. And uh, I'm going to tell you, I wasn't prepared. I was not prepared for this wedding. I was not prepared. Mm-hmm. And uh, I had to sing, never felt this way. And um, we practiced it. But that second verse, if you go back, if we, I really don't know how the video was viral. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> because if you go back and you listen to that second verse, honey, I, I, I'm not singing. <laughs> like half of, like in the beginning of the second verse, I'm not singing because I forgot the words or maybe I came in early or whatever the case may be. That's why I started doing all of them runs and inflections at the end of the song because I said, I didn't mess this lady wedding up. Messed it up. And uh. my voice was the conductor. So he's grunting. He literally is grunting at me while I'm singing because I, I messed up. <laughs> he was. <laughs> <laughs> and so after it was over, because, and see, let's be clear about it. It was the acoustics, the fact that it was an orchestra, all of the stuff. I just had got, I got lucky. <laughs> and so I, I did what I did at the end of the song and he didn't, he was like, oh my God, you sound so good. And I was like, really? I thought you was pissed because. <laughs> I did not, that second verse, mm-mm, didn't. <laughs> and, and I guess being so trained and, and being such a professional, you were just, no one noticed it. Like we all know the song, but you just went and you did your thing and it I appreciate was- it. I, I probably need to post that thing on TikTok and get some real views or something like that, you know? <laughs> the, the one that I saw was 220,000 views and it wasn't attached to you at all, which means that you singing somebody else's videos. Yeah, yeah, are. Get on, honey. I'm confused. I need to get I need to get on it. I you do. I'm probably gonna figure out how to do it. I'm not gonna lie. Because I'm trying to figure out how I can make this go viral because anything that touches Amber goes viral. So once this goes viral, I get 500,000 views. I make money off of Amber too. I'll see you 20%. Let's go to some of these other comments. I'm be looking for it. Okay. Uh, Phil said, what's up, y'all? I know. Hey, Phil. What's going on, Phil? And then Joseph, Amber B needs to give us some freestyle song now, something short. It's really interesting you say that because there is this part 
of this thing that I call a show, and it does this portion called the creative. Okay. Let's break this is the part of the show, as you probably saw with the lockets, where you get to perform your gift, showcase your talent. Now, here's the thing, though. We're not doing gospel because you don't do gospel anymore, but we're also not doing R&B because that's currently into your wheelhouse. We know you do Jasmine Sullivan. We know you do Brian McKnight. We don't want to hear that. We want to hear Amber sing something that people wouldn't know that Amber knows, whether it be country, whether it be opera, whether it be uh, Looney Tunes theme song. You, you have 30 seconds to think about it because I am putting you on the spot. You didn't know about this. So it wouldn't be fair to me to just say, okay, now sing. So what's going to happen is I'm going to sing something first, part of my audition to get into Amber's backup group. So I'm going to sing. And then while I sing, you will think metacrationally on what song you're going to okay. sing. Okay. Wives, what to do when they sing out of tune? Would you stand up? Walk out on me. Learn me your ears and now sing you a song. I would try not to sing out of key. Yeah. Oh, baby, I had a little help from my friends. Oh, I need you by my side. And I'm going to be around. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <sighs> okay. That sounds so good. I killed it. Damn. Oh, my God. I didn't even know I had that in me. I didn't know you had it either. I didn't oh. know that was right. in I didn't know that right. that particular gift. That killed it. And 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 look what Mariella said. She said, Come on, hey, Javon. Hey, hey, shut up, bullshit. Come out. Um, uh, I got a sing, sir, from over there. And then I got, huh, nailed it. Martin nailed it. Now, I don't want to put too much pressure on you, Amber B, because you have to I don't know that. that. Oh, my God. <laughs> but I'm going to give you an opportunity to try. Amber, if you don't mind, sing something that we wouldn't know that you know. All right, here we go. I'm going to sing a little Shania Twain. Hello. Oh, uh, still the one. I think I'm going to sing that, I think. <laughs> You're still the one I run to, the one that I belong to. You're still the one I kiss. Good night. <laughs> You still the one I run that I love, the only one I dream of. You still the one I kiss. Good night. You still the one. Whose bed have your boots been under? <laughs> Listen. Is there a bad feeling? Have a little fun. Huh? Um, totally I don't know. I definitely don't know them words. Short something through Yeah, gotta learn it. Gotta learn my music. <laughs> mm -hmm. Have you, have you ever thought about doing? You know, if the R&B thing don't work, go over the country. Because you got to no, but I'm gonna tell you what I have thought about. Uh huh. Jazz. Jazz, you do do shibbity beat, shibbity do bop bop. Yeah, I actually just did a live recording with a jazz pianist. John, hmm. he is sharp. Look him up, everybody. John Paul McGee. Okay, and we re recorded um, BB and CC Winans Heaven. What's that one? Go, here's what I live for. No, 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 never sees that one, and sharp. And and like literally when I was singing, I was like, I should probably do this a little more often. <laughs> it's the facial for me, like, I'm good. Do you ever hear you like does that happen more often than not to where you're singing and you'd be like, you know what? I am really good at this. Um, not to be cocky or I'm 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 an in my head type of singer, so I always hear it first. <laughs> mm. 
So I know that the Lord has gifted me with a gift. Yes, uh, yes. And sometimes I'm so regular and common with people, you know, that when I tell people I can sing, they don't believe me. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I can sing for real, for real. Yes, like, you can. And, and we all agree with it. They just coming in here like they didn't even know. You just you just got it all. You, 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 you're so wonderful. And listen, you all, if you want to hear her sing, you know, R&B or, or, uh, or jazz. I, I, or, I, I, I sing at your wedding. I sing at the yes. I sing at them all. <laughs> and, and all she wants you to do is just do this little thing right there. Amber B sings. That's get her right. the contract. Let her get released. Fly like a bird. She wants to fly away. Yes. Um, I'm going to ask you one more question. Okay. And then I'm going to let you go because we said 15 minutes and we've been on for 20. Okay. This conversation was good. <laughs> oh my God. So good. Enjoy my stuff. I don't want to let you go. Never going to let you go. I want you on my screen forever. Why am I singing to Amber B so much? I don't want your boyfriend or your husband to get mad. Do you have a boyfriend or a husband? I technically do not have a boyfriend. Hmm. She's single. Boyfriend, but I am definitely in love with somebody. I need hmm. to just keep um, it's like a Diddy and Car a Carisha's situation. I go with him. We go together. Yeah, but we just don't know. He probably single, but I go with him. Okay. I understand. I understand. Forgot what my question was gonna be now. Have you heard the new Thai tribute? The one with Get Up. So, I have been seeing on the Instagram that mm. he has come out with something, but I didn't know if it was if he, if he had came out with it already or mm -hmm. if he is about to come out with it. So both. He released this, a song. A song. I have not heard it. Oh, it's a song I that the angels cannot sing. About it though. Like, Ty is back. <laughs> mm. When and you... Clear about Ty Trippett for me. Uh-huh. What Ty Trippett for me... He is, um, I definitely grew up on the Kirk Franklin, of course. You know what I'm saying? Who didn't? I mean, he's a part of almost every era of gospel. By the way, by the way, Amber, by the way, um, Blessing, that, that new song of his, have you, have you heard it? Who, Kirk? Yes. Oh, Lord. Yeah, I, you know, because I be on the r and I really don't. You got, okay, so I'm just now giving you two songs, but I got to give you to listen three. to it. I need to listen to it. I just, I'm so, real but Ty Tribbett, when I was coming up, when I really started, like, ooh, I was going to church heavy, and it was Ty Tribbett for me. I had the DVD, <laughs> all of it, the standout DVD. Stand out, yes. I love, Ty Tribbett changed the gospel for me, like, Absolutely. in a way, like, oh, this is sharp. You know what I'm saying? So, love Ty. When you listen to the new Ty, it's called Get Up. When you listen to it, remember that I did this. ba da 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 Remember that I did that. Okay. <laughs> as soon as we hang up, go listen to that. And okay. then when you hear it, just hit me back on the Facebook, the Instagram, the, the tweet, and just say, I get it. <laughs> That's all I need to hear. You say, I get it, and then I know that you've been got. And okay. you didn't just wrong it, you wang it. Okay. I'm going to go listen to that and listen for the da 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 I got it. I got it. You got it? It's going to fit right there in the jazz album that you're going to put put together. Oh, my goodness. This. So let me tell you about this guy named Larry Jones. You've never heard of him. Don't worry about it. Ricky Dillard, New Generation. He's one of the assistant choir directors. He came into Dallas and didn't let me know. So Ricky performing in Louisville. You know Ricky Dillard, don't you? You know, just. Yeah. And he ain't let you know. I wish him a happy birthday and everything. Still, he, he out overseas. Ooh. For his birthday. And I didn't get it. Larry. Tell him, just tell him, Amber. Just say Larry. that. And be doing that. Gotta have a little integrity. <laughs> mm -mm. From the words of Amber B. We have seen your house today. It is beautiful. Thank you so much for sharing Thank your room with us. Amber B, your talent is phenomenal. And I'm going to put this up just one more time because I am dead serious when I say I need everybody. I need it, I need it, I need it. <laughs> she needs it. She needs it. Um, I'm going to stop singing to Amber B because now it's just ridiculous. 
<laughs> you all, Amber B. sings. It's right there. So give. Give and it shall be given back to you. Press down, huh? Shrieking together. Run it over. That's the only part of that scripture I know because that's the only part I paid attention to when I was in church. So make sure you all do. You shake it and you let it run. And then it's going to flow into her account. And then remember, all proceeds go to get new music. From yes. B, and we all want more new music from Amber B. Social media and stuff like that, too. I'm really trying. I'm going to try. I'm not trying. I haven't been trying. I haven't, I'm going to try, though. We're going to try. <laughs> she went from Amber Bullock to Amber B. Soon she's just, just going to be known as Amber. And that's going to be enough. Period. Madonna, Beyonce, Amber. Let's go. I appreciate you. Please let people know where they can find you on social media. You can find me on all of your favorite social sites at Amber. What is my name on there? It's a sing. <laughs> sing Amber child. Sing Amber. It is Sing Amber on mm. everything. On Twitter, on Snapchat, on Instagram, on Facebook. It's just Amber Bullock. Mm -hmm. Or my personal page is like Amber Amaya's mom blog, but y'all probably not gonna get in through there because I'm probably not gonna go, you know, accept all of those requests. It's better to get me on the Instagram. I'm really more on the Instagram. Same mm -hmm. Amber, yes, it's the one with the blue check. Uh, uh, Twitter, Snapchat, all of that. Both. Love it. I appreciate you so much. Thank you for coming on the Javon Show today. Sure. Thank you for singing and participating. Thank you for me. Like, fun. You know what? You're going to have to co-host with me one day. I would love to. Oh, let we will have so much fun. Thumbs again, let me know. <laughs> you got it. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Amber. Period. That's no. That's Amber. You all, make sure you all go check her out on all of her social media platforms. Go watch the video where she don't remember the words to the second verse. And then, make sure you all replay this back when she's playing the Shania Twain so we can get that to 200,000 views and then maybe get her some money off of that too. So, for Amber B. I am Javon B. Javon B. Doesn't make sense. God, why do I have a show? And this has been the Javon Show. Thank you all so much for watching. And we're done. Get a little bit crazy. to the music of Kevin Lemons. I got excited. I got a smile on my face. We were brothers, for real. Brothers indeed. I love Kevin. I'm going to miss him. Let me tell you, it's, it's, if I haven't learned anything from, from Brother Kevin, whatever God has called us to do, bro, we got to do it. And let's do it. Let's do it with everything we got. Oh, my goodness. Um, Uncle Kevin was... A beast, you know, as my generation call it, you know, he's a beast. Locally, nationally, internationally, I mean, it just did not, there was no comparison when it came to Kevin Lemons and higher calling. He was such a nice guy. He had such encouraging words. He was a humble man. And I'm grateful that he gave me an opportunity to, to display all of who I am uh, to this Atlanta gospel community. I wonder if he really knew how important and the impact that he's really made in so many people's lives and ministries and careers. Certainly, he had a story career. It, even though it was short, it was outstanding. Kevin evolved. Kevin had the it factor. He just had the gift, the, the talent, the anointing to do what he did. But Kevin taught us, man. He taught us good <clears throat> choir decorum. He taught us you know, the, the flair of a choir. In all of my experiences with choirs, Kevin Lemons and Higher Calling was one of the greatest choirs I've ever heard. The one, the only, Priscilla C.C. Winans hyphen love, first lady. And with C.C. You So Fine, will you be doing more TV appearances to promote the album? Will you be on some of the new updated shows, Saturday Night Live, promoting this album? Y'all are crazy. Y'all help. I'm saying, I'm saying. <laughs> you say Melissa is yes, the one. He's the one. Oh, God. Well, you know what? We'll see what happens, where we're going with this record. I'm very excited about it. I'm excited for belief for it. I think yes. it's a message that we yes. all need to hear. We all need to. I mean, we've been through a lot. A lot of people are broken. A lot of people are discouraged.
-hmm. And this this song and this record, I believe, will bring revival. I think it's going to encourage people to look up and to understand that it's faith that, that moves God. And if we can just believe his promises are true, then, then they're going to come true in your life. 